all had a lovely night's rest. Shoot, I was supposed to go live on my daughter's phone and I forgot. Okay, well, I forgot it's something. Oh well, fair warning, I'm on call. So if I get a call while I'm doing this, I'll just have to hang up and come back. My plan was to go live on my kid's phone, but I forgot between the couch and here. I thought I was gonna do that. Oh, guys. All right. I've made, why is that dog hair in my door? Good morning. I, yay, yeah, Facebook. Give me the comments, peeps. Show me the comments. I tell ya, I can see comments coming in on my phone, but not on my computer this time. I'm telling ya, Facebook needs to get its act together. Faux show. Because it's not working. All right, good morning from East Tennessee. Tennessee. That's probably not at all what you sound like over there in Tennessee. <laughs> I feel like I've food stuck on my teeth and I haven't even eaten yet. That doesn't say a lot about me, does it? All right. Maybe I can see it in here. I tell you what. I'm trying, guys. Just. Facebook is my nemesis these days. I want to be able to see your comments. Come on. There we go, I think. I know, I think you're right, Nathan Melton. My computer hates me. Whatever. Won't be the first thing in my life that didn't like me. Um, so I have a meeting today at 7.30. You did, Karen? How was it? Did you see anybody? Did you like run into any either of the sisters or like sit there waiting, hoping they showed up? Cause that's what I would do. <laughs> that's totally what I would do. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. I don't know. It, it used to work so good. And then they changed something and now like your comments come on and it just sits there and I don't get it but I can't I used to not be able to see them on my phone now I'm seeing them on my phone so we'll go with that for now it was Karen you well you know why there's a coach's retreat this weekend I mean maybe it's always packed but there is a coach's retreat um, in Nashville this weekend and I'm so ridiculously sad that I'm not there but I get over it all right I'm gonna make coach Canada's peanut butter real deal PB to go on some toast because I need a quick breakfast this morning because I have a meeting at 730 and I a few days ago, I haven't heard yet this morning, Ann, how they're doing. I haven't heard yet. So, um, they're good friends of my husband's. They're out in Seattle. I know, I don't know them super well, um, but my husband does. He was stationed with Steve in the military. I guess Steve is doing okay, but his wife is in the hospital. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, I don't know. I forgot almond milk. I got everything else ready except the almond milk. Come on, KJ. Get it together. I did, Haley, I put it out on my website. It's called Tiffany's Easy Coffee or something like that, or Easy Tiffany's Coffee. Probably not, that wouldn't sound good. Um, it's 
So all it was was a heaping teaspoon of whey protein, a quarter cup of almond milk, and then a hefty squirt of your favorite stevia, um, liquid stevia. I used chocolate raspberry and cheesecake. And then I put, I put some cream cheese extract in there as well. All right, half a cup of almond milk. If you guys haven't made Coach Canada's Real Deal PB, it's the real deal. It's so ridiculously good. It tastes a lot like peanut butter. Um, and I'll link the I'll link the recipe. <laughs> I'll, I'll link the recipe for you, Bonnie. Did I wake you up in your dreams? Did I get on and say, KJ's live, wake up. Oh, but somebody the other day asked what to do with Joseph's pitas. They bought some pitas and they're like, tell me your best ways to use them. And I said, well, you can stick them with chicken salad and tuna salad and egg salad and shrimp salad and whatever. Um, or you can make pizza out of them. I said, or you can make toast. Growing up, when my mother would buy pita bread, I would get so excited because I love to make pita bread into toast. And I haven't done that since I've gotten these pitas. Since I've been on Trim Healthy, I haven't gotten these. And I thought to myself, why KJ? What ails ya? Why ain't you making toast out of pita bread, dummy? You love it. So that's what I'm having this morning. Since I gotta be relatively quick anyway, half a teaspoon of butter, and I thought I was just gonna put regular peanut butter on it and have a nice protein coffee. But then I thought, wait, I can make Coach Canada's real deal that wasn't a half a teaspoon. What are you doing? That's more like it. Um, if I make this, then I can have it with a whole bunch of I can have it with a whole bunch of this and have a pile of fruit with it, Bonnie. his face and let go let it snap <laughs> and wake him up all right a quarter tablespoon of heavy cream which ain't too much it ain't a lot all right I feel like I'm no oh, I was gonna say I feel like I'm missing liquid but then I just realized I put a whole half a cup of almond milk in there so I ain't missing no liquid All of a sudden it turns into peanut butter. Like it's gotta go through that crumbly state. And look at that, baby. Yeah, girl. Yeah, I'm gonna lick off my blades. It's okay, it's okay. I'm a professional. Don't try that at home. Don't lick the blades on your ninja. But again, professional. Look at that. good you can have three tablespoons of that um in a fuel pole all right so i got my peanut butter now if i had been smart had that pre-made my breakfast would be done almost already of course it's not because i'm gonna make fancy coffee to go with it what time is it just gotta be done in a half hour if i can't make a cup of joe in a half hour listen lisa I know how to lick blades. I will lick off the biggest steak knife. Drives my family crazy. I used to keep a steak knife in my drawer at work. Like a big steak knife. It was like a big, you know, a serrated knife. Well, not big, but like this. I think this was the one, actually. 
I think this might have been it. Still got chunks of sump stuck in it. My dishwasher's so great. Anyway, I had this in my work and I would cut stuff up at work and then I would lick this blade and the whole team would <gasps> every time I did it. I loved it. It's all right. Again, professional. All right, my pita, all I'm gonna do you, you, all you got to do is cut it in half and stick it in your toaster. That's it. That's the whole recipe. Cut it in half, stick it in your toaster. But because I don't own a toaster, <laughs> no, Bonnie, you woke up to make me watch, to watch me make toast. <laughs> Even better. <laughs> yes, get it off Target, Melissa. I've been sharing the link off Amazon because I didn't know. Target is 20 bucks. Go get that chopper. It's $20. Anyway, I'm just going to toast it in my Ninja because I don't have, a, like I said, I don't have a toaster. I own every kitchen gadget. No man here, but no, I don't own a toaster. All right. Who left the Ninja dirty and full of macaroni and cheese bite crumbs? I can't imagine who that would have been, but I bet she's 13. Boy, oh boy. Somebody not cleaning my ninja. Gonna have words. All right. I know, it's super exciting video when I walk away. and This is probably gonna fly up and stick to the top of my ninja because it doesn't weigh anything. Let's do air crisp for Three minutes. Start. No preheat. Start. All right. Probably not long enough. All right. All my kids are here starting it. You'll get it. You'll do it, Joyce. You can do it. Isn't it, Bonnie? I know it's super exciting watching me make toast. You haven't lived until you've made toast with somebody live. All right, but here's where the magic comes. I'm gonna make coffee. And I'm gonna make, I had an idea last night while I was thinking about ice cream. Yes, I was just thinking about it. I was thinking, man, I'd like to have a scoop of ice cream right now. And I didn't have any, but I thought to myself, if I had a scoop of ice cream right now, what flavor would it be? And I said to myself, it would be um, buttered toffee. And then I thought, oh, I could make buttered toffee coffee. And then I thought, no, I could make buttered rum coffee. Hot buttered rum iced coffee. So that's what I'm doing right now. I don't know what it's going to taste like because I have no clue. I never made buttered rum anything, but I'm doing it right now. So that syrup I make, the cardamom syrup, I'm going to do the same idea. All right. I wrote down what I wanted to put in it, and then I put away the ingredient. So I'm gonna put, um, maybe, that's right, toast and drunken coffee. Melissa, so do I. And if I wasn't a THM, I would legit melt down some buttered rum lifesavers. But I'm a THM, so I'm not gonna. So I'm gonna make my own. I'm gonna use like three, I don't know. It's gotta be sweet, because it's buttered rum. Two and a half, I don't know. Two and a half tablespoons. I did, Rhonda, it's out on my website. It's called Tiffany's Perfect Coffee. Something like that. I'm gonna put some salt in here, and then I wrote down, I'm gonna put a little bit of vanilla. Cardamom Joyce is just a seasoning, and it's really good. 
It's like chai spice. Is that toasted yet? Let's take a look. I doubt it. Of course it's not. That's not long enough. KJ, do it longer, dummy. It's flying all over the inside of my ninja. It's because I didn't preheat it. That's why. I ain't got time to stand there and wait for that thing to preheat. All right. A little bit of vanilla. I'm making syrup bonnie in my saucepan. I want to measure out the rum. Now listen, nobody panic. It's just rum flavoring. I'm not making alcohol at coffee. I'm gonna put a half a teaspoon. Ooh, baby, is that rummy. And ooh, that smells like straight up drunken, you know, sailor. All right, and a half a teaspoon of butter extract. And I'm gonna boil it. I'm making a sauce. That's what I'm making. And then I'm going to make butter from coffee. But I got to have a syrup. And I know I'm talking off camera, but you know. All right, let that boil. I got to let that do its thing. This is going to be good. I can feel it in all of my bones. All right. Had your comments up there, and then they disappeared. Now listen, Nathan, I gotta work today. It wouldn't be better with real rum. I don't want, I, I gotta work. And I, I don't like to drink alcohol. It's gross, it's not good for you. Makes you feel yucky. I got enough joy in me, I don't need no booze. All right, I'm gonna get my coffee mug and Put move my clean dishes that I wash over here so I can get at my coffee thing, which isn't even in that pile. I don't know. I moved all that stuff to get at something that wasn't even there. Get it. Come on now. All right. I think I'm going to make... Is my Endeavor, I'm gonna make Endeavor this morning. I haven't had Endeavor for a few days. I haven't had Endeavor, so I'm gonna do Unrest Endeavor this morning. Are you talking about my mouth or my actual pants, Bonnie? Come, my pants are tight this morning. These pants. No joke, get tighter every time I wash them. And no, it's not my backside getting bigger. It's literally the pants getting tighter. I have never been much of a, a, of a drinker person. It's never been much my thing. But I've had, a, I've had a sip or two. I've had a few sips. And a few weeks ago, I haven't had a drink of anything in a long time. Um, and a, my friend came over last week. Or not last week, a few weeks ago. And we made those winezillas, winezillas, whatever, at a Trim Healthy Future. And they were very good. They tasted like a sangria. But listen, my knees were numb and tingly two sips in. And I was so bloated and sick the next day. Not sick like over just what I have no interest in drinking and it had this it literally had a quarter ounce of wine in my glass like it wasn't it was less than licking the edge of the communal cup all right oh boy my toast is now toasted FYI I just totally overdid it it's way too toasty Pretty much, it, do, it only takes an, I'm, I over toasted my toes. I'm not eating that. Sorry. Yuck. Wasting a pita. Maybe you could make it with, um, is a mimosa the thing with the orange juice? No, it's burnt taste and dawn. It's, ugh. it don't taste good. No, it's way too dark. No. 
I think you could make it with the just like orange juice or whatever it's called. And a little champagne. You could make it with seltzer and just pretend. And champagne extract. And it would taste like a mimosa, but it wouldn't be a mimosa. I know. God, it's gross. It's way too burnt. All right. Take two for my quick, super quick breakfast. Why not? I got 12 minutes left, something like that. Let's do four minutes and just leave it at that. All right. I need that cup right there. And how do you propose that I get that? I don't want to hear it from anybody over 5'1". No laughter. I can't help it. There we go. Yeah, two minutes probably would have been plenty if I had preheated it, but since I didn't preheat it, it wasn't enough. So I put it in for three more and it was too much. I don't know. Oh, I feel anything less than skinny these days, you guys. It's because I'm bloated and I think I've been eating too much Mrs. Criddle's cake with my frosting. I've had cake every day this week and I am bloated as heck. I'm blaming it on the cake. I have been bloated all week. I am up five pounds. I know it is not fat because I've been eating very well. It's just, it's mostly bloat. I can feel it. So I got to figure it out. All right. I've been boiling my syrup for about for four minutes that it's been simmering. It's come down a little, but not much. So I'm going to add a little bit of xanthan gum, which I knew I was going to have to do. Probably an eighth of a teaspoon. Oh, Kathy, I think that's coming for me. I think, I wish I felt that way, Heather. Lately, I just feel, I don't know. It's all, it's in my head. I'm going through this like, why am I not losing weight? Even though I know I've lost weight. It's mental, it's mental. All You're right, Bonnie. You're right. Feelings are not facts. That's why I'm not going to let it get to me. It's okay. It's all right. I just, yeah. Mine is too. I think part of it is it's been in the 90s here. That makes a big difference. I'm, I'm retaining a ton of fluid. I just feel... All right, I need some ice. I probably will. For real though, I will, don't they? They they help the blow. Like I know you're you're being funny, bunny. But it's true. Yeah, I think that's the problem, Carrie. Is I made that big cake, which would be all well and good to enjoy a piece of cake. However, I've enjoyed five pieces of cake this week because I have that whole cake to myself. 
And I, I don't think that's a good idea. So I need to not make a giant cake again. I need to keep it to the little single serve things. I will, Bonnie. I'll eat some today. All right, I'm going to put a little bit of butter and a little bit of rum extract. Not a whole quarter teaspoon because that stuff smells boozy booze. A little splash of the beaver butt. A little pinch of salt. And I need, oh, my liquid sweetener. Oh, see, why did I put vanilla in there? Oh, well, I'm going to put more vanilla because I'm going to use my vanilla cream stevia because my plain one is not open right now. All right. Yeah, that's right, Joyce. It becomes calorie abuse if you have it too often. And I've had it every day this week. <laughs> so I'm going to... What, Autumn? Ear? Ear what? All right. So my cake, my toast, my toast is freaking burnt. <sighs> you guys, I'm eating burnt toast this morning because I just, how did that burn? I cooked it the same as the first time, but it was preheated. <sighs> Amy, I have been slicing them up and dipping them in, in like pickle juice ranch or cottage cheese or... Um, uh, believe it or not, I've been eating them plain and enjoying them, but they're the little mini cukes. All right, I'm going to drizzle a little of this inside the glass, too. That was my whole point. Why did I put the ice in? Why? Why? Oh, inside the glass, KJ. Inside the glass. Dim whip. It goes all down the outside of the glass. That's not going to be a mess at all or nothing. Shouldn't have put the ice in there first, but once again, I wasn't thinking. I have started to enjoy them, Dawn. I don't know what's happened to me. I've lost my ever-loving mind. You guys, if you do this, put it in before you put the ice. Don't be a dimwit. Don't be a KJ. Oh, hey. whatever. That smells like hot buttered rum. All right, let's see how much of this I can spill all over my counter. A, a whole bunch. Like half of it. It's all right. I mean, whatever. What I should have done was put that in the bottom of my glass and called it a macchiato. I have gained an appreciation. I have. Just the minis, though. All right. Let's see. Unfortunately, Linda, most mornings are just like that. <laughs> That is so good. You guys, cheers. That is awesome. Yum. All right, I'm going to get out my burnt toast. Like, okay, I can't eat this. You guys, there is no way I'm eating this. Well, no, I'm especially not eating it now because it just went on the floor. Listen, I've made some easy recipes on this video, these videos. I have made some hard recipes. Today, I am struggling with toast. It's legit for crying out loud. <sighs> yeah, Vicki, you've missed me not being able to toast a piece of stupid pita. Because apparently, the ninja is smarter than I am. There is no scraping this, Linda. Look at it. It's, <laughs> it's 
all over my silverware drawer now. There's no saving that. Literally none. All right, I'm gonna toast this. Let's start, take three. Today I'm gonna make toast in the Ninja Air Fryer. It's so simple. Anyone can do it. Just slice your toast in half and put it in your Ninja. And then go buy a toaster. All right, let's try a whole two minutes. No preheat. Let's try that again, shall we? I couldn't use this for anything. It is burnt. All it tastes like is Oh my word. Oh, you guys, that sauce has turned like hard in my glass and broken off into like pieces of candy. That tastes just like buttered rum. Chewing my coffee was not my intention, but nonetheless, it's quite good. Which makes me think, could I turn this into candy? Look, <gasps> that didn't, what did that? Because that didn't happen with my cardamom syrup. I'm not gonna scratch out my pan. Look, that didn't happen with my cardamom. Sarah, yeah, look, no, it's, it's not, this isn't iced and it's turned into a rock. I don't want to scrape my pan. I might just have to melt it back down. I just want to taste it. It's not toasted enough. makes me want to figure something out that is good I, I I need to make candy what could I put that in my little gummy bear molds it tastes like buttered rum lifesavers only crumbly Let's heat it back up see what happens I should get a plate for my toast and my fruit. I didn't get my fruit out yet. I'm gonna have some good old cantaloupe. There's my e-fuel. All right, it's better this time. It's just burnt on the edge. Sarah, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. All right, I got my toast, you guys. <laughs> Funny. Smack that man in the head. Oh my word. That's funny. What time is it? Am I late for my meeting? Nope, got seven minutes. I still gotta log on my computer though. Get myself set up. All right, I can have three tablespoons of this in an E for a fuel pull. I got a splash of cream in my coffee. I didn't put very much in there, just a splash. So that's still fine. So there we go, toast. That was hard. That was much more difficult than it should have been. It shouldn't have been that made that hard to make toast. But it tastes like toast. It tastes like my childhood is what it tastes like. Mmm. I bet you did not expect to, oh, I'm burning my stuff. Well, now I got burnt butter rum and 
small. I think I'm going to take that smoking pan right outside. Honest to be. I burnt two slices of toast and I got a pan on my doorstep that's smoking. Alright, well, no, I didn't tell you to turn back on. Who said that? Ninja. Oh, feisty is more. Alright, well, there's buttered rum coffee and um, toast and fruit. And, listen, if you don't make this much of a mess making toast, then you're not doing it right. Look at that mess. <laughs> all right, you guys. I love you all. I hope you have a blessed, blessed Friday. I know, Friday, I always say it's easy to stay on plan any other day of the week. Friday and Saturday are tough. I get it. Hi, Bess. You want to come say hi? You, no, not until you get a piece of melon, he says. Not, not until you give me promises of fruit. Come say hi. Come say hi to the people. Can they? Oh, they can't see you. you got to come over here. Oh, great in them. All right. Um, Friday, listen. Is it? pizza night for a lot of people don't go off plan don't don't feel don't feel the need to go off plan just because it's Friday because there's 52 Fridays in a year so just because it's the weekend doesn't mean you need to go off plan you don't you don't so stay on plan if you need someone to talk you off the ledge message Bonnie <laughs> just kidding message me and I'll talk you off the ledge I promise I will that's all I got. Now I got to clean up my kitchen after my meeting. I love you all. Have a blessed, blessed Friday. Stay on plan. Go subscribe to my YouTube, my Instagram, and my other thing. What is it? Rumble. Because I need you to. I love you. Oh, let's end it with a belch. That, that, that's... All right, let me come over here. I am on camera. Anyway, I love you all. Have a blessed day, and I will see you tomorrow morning for something yummy. I don't know what, but I usually try to do something yummy on Saturday morning. So, all right, you guys. I love you all. Have a great day.